WCCO also streaming on CBSN Minnesota. It's the day many Minnesotans have been waiting to see. COVID restrictions are easing across the state. Starting today, restaurants and bars can reopen at 50% capacity. Movie theaters and other entertainment spots can reopen at 25% capacity. Spectators are allowed at youth sporting events again. Reg Chapman joins us live from the Como Zoo and Conservatory. Reg, are people reserving some of their spots there? Uh, they really are, Shayla. Even with restrictions in place, people are making those reservations and coming out on this first day, the Como Zoo and Conservatory reopens. Now, we were here when the doors opened at 10 o'clock, and we saw a lot of families taking advantage of the rollback restrictions by the governor to allow entertainment uh, venues such as the Como Zoo to open at 25% capacity or no more than 150 people inside at one time. Now, face coverings are required, and Zoo and Conservatory staff are making sure people who do come out, keep a safe distance away from others. So when people come into Como, we are in a one-way pathway. So from the time they check in at the front of the visitor center, which is a heated tent, they'll be directed through the zoo grounds on a one-way path so that they can see everything, but it will help us to social distance. But if people want to bypass the zoo and go right to the conservatory and get a little green and smell those plants, then they can just ask to bypass and they can go right to the conservatory only. Now, Shayla, the first two hours of Como Zoo opened, they were booked. Reservations filled up fast, but they do tell me there are slots open for this afternoon. So they ask you to make a reservation and come out and see all the new things the Como Zoo and Conservatory has to offer. Something fun to do with the family. Thank you so much, Reg. Yes. Bars and restaurants are reopening as well at 50% capacity, up to 150 people. Up to six people are allowed at each table. Each group must be six feet apart, but bar seating is open to parties of two, but not in the city of Minneapolis. Reservations are required. Dine-in service must end at 10 o'clock each night. We stopped by Maria's Cafe in Minneapolis today. The Colombian restaurant is known for its breakfast menu. As you can see, people are already back in and dining. We spoke with the owner about reopening for indoor dining. She says her customers have been supportive with ordering takeout, but she's happy to welcome them inside again. We try to do our best because we want people to be comfortable mm -hmm. being here and it's very important to follow the protocols. Hospitality Minnesota weighed in on the changes, saying 50% is the minimum occupancy restaurants need to cover costs. The group says it is applauding the governor's move.